So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are back today. That's right, with eFootball, with the new update, because we're going to be showing you what the game could look like uh, if it actually gets edit mode, amongst some other things. So we're on the PC. We've got some, uh, you know, new license kits for Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, Tottenham, Aston Villa, Newcastle, Brighton and Hove Albion, West Ham, also Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, a couple of other Spanish teams. Um, even into Miami has actually been added there. So, yeah, we're just going to just quickly have a look, right? And I will admit, the best thing about this update, to be fair, is probably the hair physics. Very nice and flowy. So, if you didn't tune into my stream last week, it was a little bit of fun. I mean, you know, I, I didn't take the game serious because there's no point. They've added some nice additions. There are some things that some people may not like, like the auto-type shielding that they've added don't know how I feel about it the, the finesse dribbling has got better than what I initially tried it out where it was a mess um you know yes the ball does go through the player's feet if you really want to get in there and nitpick but yeah we're past that now so it's also interesting with this game because sometimes it looks really good and then when you play it from afar it kind of looks still like a ps3 game so I'm like they're kind of updating the graphics in some regard but then they're not updating them in others so I don't really know where Konami are with it, but, you know, you can only judge by what they are actually doing. So anyway, let's dive into it. So this is the, um, this side. Obviously the, uh, the options to pick your team, right? So they've updated the logos. This was done by Endo, of course, the one and only. I'll leave the link for these in the description. Uh, and then as you go through here, now, as we know, the Scottish Premiership is already licensed, etc. So is the, I think, the usual Danish and, uh, League Un, etc. Uh, but like the Premier League now has the official logo. The names haven't been changed yet, so it still says like Newcastle, WB, and, and then Man City, B, etc. But I'm not really that fussed about it. I'd rather have the kits and the badges. So all the teams are there, right? And that's how it's going to look when you play like the Master League. If you go to La Liga, you've got the likes of Real Madrid, of course, Villarreal and uh, Atletico Madrid, Valencia. Uh, you go to like the Serie A, they're all licensed. Not all of them, actually, but... Um, or maybe they all have the badges, yeah. No, it's just the names. So, yeah, that's that. So, what we're going to do is play a match. Why don't we go for, obviously, two teams that aren't licensed, so it's something to show. We will do a good old-fashioned Real Madrid and taking on... Who should we take on? Someone in, like, Italy, maybe? We take on an Italian side. I mean, Man City do have some nice players with the hair. Kevin De Bruyne. Actually, Alia, let's just do Man City because De Bruyne gave me a good laugh in my stream. His, his hair flowage. I'm going for that word. Flowage. Uh, looks exceptional. I know. I'm getting excited about hair physics. What's wrong with you, Ricky? I mean, that's where we are. Okay? <laughs> that's where we are with this game. Um, so anyway, now we're playing on exhibition because if you play on my league, you still can't change all these settings apart from your difficulty level. We'll play on Superstar for this one. Game speed, I mean, if you want more of a, I would say this, if you want more of a Pez experience, you would probably want to put this down, right? This game is a lot quicker than what Pez used to be. Online, I'm not even talking about. I haven't played it. Online is always, for me, going to be a ping pong fest. It just is. When play, Everyone has legends now, right? 105, 103. They've got the best stats, the best dribbling. I mean, I tried it with Lionel Messi with the finesse dribbling, and it's insane how quick he is with the ball. So it's going to speed things up. This is very much now a pick up and play type of game online. And I'm not going to lie, the ebb and flow of it is quite interesting and quite fun. But if you do want more sim, you're not going to get that online. It's just not going to happen. And, I'm, you know, and that's just my opinion. Not everyone wants sim, and that's fine. But I'm just stating that. Now, you can obviously choose match times as well in Exhibition. So they've added that in there. We're just going to go for a 10-minute match because I'm probably not going to play a whole game. And then I'll just show you maybe a few other teams as well. Yeah, and you can change. Actually, no, they've added this. This is a new mod thing because you can't do this on the PS5. Um, but yeah, Endo's added all the balls in there as well, which is a nice addition because I don't want to play with an eFootball ball. So let's just pick... Uh, that's a League 1 ball. I mean, there's obviously not a La Liga one, but um, yeah, let's do that one. That looks nice, nice and sexy. So 
Let's go ahead and forward the time. Now, when you do pick your team here, as you can see, the licenses are all there looking fabulous. And it's got basically the, the full kit you can kind of look at. Should we give them that? I mean, they are all white. Yeah, we'll give them the blue. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead very quickly and uh, just sort out the lineups, pick the teams, and then I will see you in the match. It is a shame in exhibition they don't show you the lineups. They said, forget it. There's too much horsepower to put in there. So it just kind of goes straight into the match. Um, but we'll get in there. We'll check out some of the faces because, as I said, they do look quite good, apart from killing Mbappe. He looks like a potato. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Ciao, ciao. All right, folks, so here we are. Luka Modric. Yeah, I've put Modric in there. All right, actually, a few of the players are on red form, so I've whacked Alaba in there as well. Couture in goal is on red, so I don't know how bad he's going to be. Uh, but as you can see, logos are looking sharp. Uh, the only thing they still need to address is like this right here. I mean, why are they still putting pink behind these crests? Just make it a solid black, right? Just make it simple. Um, anyway, here we are in the game itself. Um, and that's what I mean about, like, the graphics, right? It doesn't look the best there. Um, but when we actually get into the game, I still half the time forget what I'm doing with this. Um, so, yeah, let's start right here. So there's Couture. Couture, Couture. Uh, and, yeah, just to show you the kits, there they are. So that's what you're basically going to get, folks, when edit mode arrives. And this is the joyful thing about this game. I mean, obviously, we're playing on the PC here. Um, but we know. We know how good the modders are. Right? Keeping the game alive. Um, so there is Rudiger. He looks ridiculously good. Um, the, the quality of the kits aren't the best, but they'll obviously be upped in quality as time goes on. But yeah, look at, I mean, still the detail of it. You've got the fonts, the socks. Everyone these days seems to have pink boots. I don't know why, but they seem to love it. Um, but yeah, the face of Rudiger is probably one of the best around, to be fair. Alaba, what are you just seeing there, mate? A ghost? Uh, but yeah, Alaba looking the part. He's gone for the different type of boots. And uh, then we've got Cavahau. I mean, the player models, I mean, they could do a little bit more kind of uniqueness, I think, with certain players because they all kind of do have the same build. Um, at least they're wearing some shin pads. Half the players these days don't even bother. Uh, yeah, but there's Mendy. You've got Chouamane. Uh, Luca Luca. And let me know if you've played... I mean, I have played on the PS5, but not really with Real Madrid. I don't know, you know, how different graphically it is between the two. I Generally, sometimes I feel like the gameplay is different. I, for some reason, I feel PC uh, is harder than playing on PS5. The AI just seem a little bit smarter. Uh, there is Rodrigo, of course. Uh, Vinicius Jr. looks phenomenal. Uh, none of the Real Madrid players really have long, flowy hair, so we're not going to get the hair physics, but... He looks great. And then Kylian Mbappe, yeah, he's the one I don't really know about. Um, it's just like a lack of detail on his face. And it looks kind of bloated, you know? So, yeah, they definitely could do some work on him. I'm sure they will now that he's gone to Real Madrid, but we'll see. Um, Edison there, I mean, looks phenomenal. He doesn't have the official tattoos, which is interesting. I guess you need the license for that. So Luis Suarez does, though. And then he's got, I mean, what are those gloves? Looks like he's wearing gardening gloves, but there is Edison. Um, Ruben Diaz, I mean, once again, the guy looks just really impressive. From what we've had in the past, you know, like we, we have lacked any kind of gra graphical enhancements on this game for the longest time. It's just been kind of poor. But uh, yeah, there it is, all the proper fonts, etc. A Akanji, there is uh, Guardiola as well. Uh, Rico Lewis, yeah, so yeah, he's one of the better looking players as well when it comes to what they've done with his face. Looks really, really good. And it's good to see they are going in there and updating the younger boys, you know, the younger crowd. Because they do need a little bit of loving as well. Wonder Kids, they are the future. Um, there is obviously Kovacic. Uh, Doku, now Doku once again, another phenomenal face. I mean, and the, and the dreadlocks are the fun part when you just kind of watch them kind of move and you know and this is the thing you're not going to notice this really when you're playing the match this is really just for replays uh Grealish as well I mean his hair phenomenal 
I swear they look better than they did on stream. I don't know if they've been enhanced more. No, they haven't. But yeah, it looks really, really good, obviously. Uh, and the detail on the kit's just unbelievable. Uh, Bernardo Silva. Looking like Bernardo Silva. Uh, and then Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, I told you his hair is just hilarious. But, I mean, look at it. If you kind of slow it. I wish you could go real slow, but you can't. But, yeah, it just... It's kind of cool to watch. At least there's a future in this game with the graphics, as we're seeing. Even the beard. You can see there's, like, their little hair follicles. They've put a little bit more emphasis on that as well. Uh, and then finally, yeah, the monster. The guy that just can't stop scoring. And I wish he would. Haaland, stop it. Um, but yeah, his hair flowing at the back looks very, very good. Uh, and quite natural. So yeah, I think Man City, honestly, when it comes to the hair flowage, when you've got Grealish, Haaland and De Bruyne and Doku, some of the best around. So there we go, folks. There's the faces. And then obviously we have the grass itself. Now this is running with new turf. So I'm not really going to judge it too much. But, you know, the ball looks good. That's all you can say. Back to the action. All right, folks. So into the action. Hopefully you can differentiate Man City to Real Madrid. But I kind of just wanted to go over the mechanics real quick again. So that is obviously, this is the normal dribbling, right? You're just dribbling with the left stick, not really doing a whole lot. And then when you press L2 now, they transition into this. Okay. So this is the... The finesse dribbling. Now, it looks a thousand times better than anything that EA have ever produced because their dribbling is, as we know, laughable. Um, the thing about it is it does confuse the AI a lot. So a lot, a lot of the times you can just do that um, and they can't get the ball off you. And that's my thing about... I feel like this game, attacking-wise, the AI is good. Defensively, they still need some smart work done, as in they need to understand how to hold the shape uh, instead of just kind of running at you and then you can just walk around them. Uh, but we'll, we'll give them time. We'll see what they do. Uh, but yeah, let's just ping this around real quickly. And the heavy touches for the players as well take a little bit longer. So if you do just want to hold sprint all day willy-nilly, it's probably not going to work out too good for you. Now, obviously, the better players you have are going to be better. Let's give the ball, for instance, to Vinicius. But he's not going to get that. Good up, son. All right, let's, uh, let's give it to Vinicius here. Now, his dribbling is obviously ridiculous. So, someone like him, you are going to have an absolute whale of a time. I mean, he can just, just fondle his way through these players like you wouldn't believe. Just, just so quick, so dynamic. Um, uh, well, Silva doesn't want to let me do what I want to do. But, yeah, the better the player, obviously, the better his stats and the better he will be um, with the whole dribbling, etc. Ra. Now, when it comes to the shielding, let me show you that real quickly. And what basically happens now when um, the game does it for you. Let me give it to a player. Um, once again, Grealish does not want to listen to me. Let me just hold match up, see if that works. And let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comments below. What do you guys make of the update? Is it for you? Have you seen the improvements? I mean, if it's not for you, it's not for you. If you like it, fantastic. Um, but yeah, look, if you get past the player, now watch, he'll basically, this is what they do on their own. So Bernardo Silva is going to try and get the ball off Mendy. Um, and basically, I'm not going to allow him. See? Look. He's just, this is basically the game just holding him off for me. I'm not having to do anything. Is that a good or bad thing? It really depends because sometimes you're in a... You're, it's just like you're running away and sprinting away from someone. And then they kind of stop because the game's designed now to just kind of stop that player from getting close. You know? So sometimes it's like I don't like it. But if you're going to be real close dribbling like this, then it isn't as bad because, you know, you don't have to worry about pressing 16 different combinations of buttons. It's, it's an interesting one. Let me know as well below. Are you a fan of it? Are you not? Here we go. Ooh, that was nearly a goal. Uh, but yeah, we'll play a couple of minutes here just to showcase the, uh, the AI itself as they swing it round. Because the AI as well, I seem like they are doing a little bit more. They are using the finesse dribbling. They are trying to... if. Players like Doc who gets the ball, they are actually dribbling with it and attacking you as opposed to just standing there like a plum. Uh, but here we go. Just use Vinicius. And this is where you can literally just abuse these players. And the worrying thing is online. You know, is it going to be like this online as well? I haven't really played it, so let me know how online is going for you. But yeah, having a full legend team now, it could make it even more kind of pay to win. And let's be honest, if you're not spending coins, you're not going to get those legends. 
you'd have to spend, I mean, sometimes you've got to spin a hundred times, spending a lot of coins um, just to get them. Konami don't care, of course. To them, pay to win or not, they're still making the money. And that's what it's all about. Right, long ball. Oh, that's a pass, isn't it? It's a beautiful pass. Just couldn't get it down. Um, and this week, folks, I will be hopefully installing the new updated Football Life so we can get back to a series. Uh, and I will be streaming uh, EAFC 25 uh, when that does launch later this week. There we are, Shuamani there, just showing Doku, Doku, how it's done. All right, so let's go and pick two more teams for a little bit of fun. I don't know, Italians, have a look at some other faces real quick. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the, the new additions, if you're wondering, as well as uh, the faces, because they do look quite good. Bang! Oh, I was going to foul him, and I did foul him. Yellow card. The referees look new as well. Some of the cutscenes are new, I'm sure. And this is where the cutscenes look really good now. Like, not really, really good, but they look so much better than the actual gameplay. So, once again, I don't really know what Konami's technology they're using for this. I mean, they are obviously slowly developing and moving things over. Because now we're seeing the graphical enhancements in replays, but we're not seeing it in gameplay. <laughs> what earth was that? Bang! I gave him a penalty. I used tackle there. Not having it. Yeah, I just wanted to end the match like this. Just to showcase it. <laughs> but good play from Haaland. Look, he took his time and then bang. Soon as the foot came in, the hair started flowing. And he said, well, hey. Right, he's going that way. No, you're not. Terrible penalty, Haaland. Yeah, the penalties as well need some massive work. And uh, just, they need to redo the whole penalty system. All right, anyway, I'll see you in the next match. Next match, next match. Uh, let's pick some other players. All right, folks. So I decided with some Inter Miami because I want to show you Messi's face and um, some Spurs. Let's get some Spurs action going. I was going to do like Roma, but I don't really know the Roma players, to be honest. So I don't even know who they've bought. So uh, yeah, let's just go and do this. We're playing at Rose Park. Is this the newer stadium? I know we've already had these in pairs in the day. Um, and I thought I'd put it at night time because the turf looks a little bit more vibrant. So, um, anyway, let's once again show you the magical faces. I mean, Suarez looks real good because he's got his um, signature tattoos. So, anyway, Drake Cullender. And, yeah, there's the kit, by the way, the goalkeeper kit. Yeah, and these have all been done, as I said. You've got basically all, most of the Premier League teams have already been done there. Um, and you can pretty much, I think, use these, yeah, with... My league, etc. as well. There he is, looking the part. So yeah, even these players. I mean, you can generally tell which ones have had a proper face treatment uh, and which ones haven't really been converted over yet. I mean, Jordi Alba looks fantastic. And he basically looks... Uh, why is he standing like that? It's like a penguin. Um, you look at the crowd. That guy's still there. That one. Where is he? The one with the yellow shirt and the beard. And the grey hair. They, look, he's the same guy. He's there and he's there. They've literally copy and pasted it. Can you see it? Yeah, the crowd. I mean, this is... And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, Sergio Busquets, of course, looks a different class. There's the old fonts. You've even got the uh, MLS stuff in there. There is uh, Julian... Julian Gretel. I don't... Don't ask me who these players are. Apparently, he's a cross specialist, but we're playing him as a centre midfielder. This guy, has he got the hair treatment? See, he hasn't had it done yet. His hair's not really moving. He's got the bowl cut. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if that's just because it's a bowl cut or they haven't implemented it there. Ah, Lionel Messi, there he is. So, if you guys remember when this game initially came out, Messi looked like a zombie. Like, his eyes were like that. And now you've got that. I mean, it's a little bit of an improvement, isn't it? And his hair is definitely been... Um, yeah, see, he's, his hair moves. So Messi's had the treatment done. You know, this tattoo looks really well done as well. Welcome. Freedom to dream. I thought he said welcome. Did he already wet himself? Oh, I thought he'd... Um, I thought it was a shadow. I thought he'd uh, soiled himself there. But yeah fantastic probably one of the best messes you'll see i mean I, I can't really say it isn't we'll capture that for the thumbnail 
Beautiful. All right. Suarez also looks brilliant. There's Rojos. Rojos. Mateus. He's got the uh, the eyebrow. We get that done. Uh, and Suarez. Yeah, Suarez looks fantastic. Just because they've got his little mm -hmm, on the old neck. Um, I mean, Suarez's ears are very, very unique, of course. And also his tattoos. So, they, yeah, they've got the, uh, the full Shabazz on the Uruguayan. And then when we look at Spurs, so you've got Vicario in goal. Once again, the, the, the updates to the faces have been very, very well done. I'm not going to sit here and they're not. You know, I mean, they are just faces at the end of the day, but at least, at least they are graphically enhancing some aspects of the game. I mean, Ramar Ramiro looks ridiculous. Now, now, Konami, just transition this to in-game from a distance and make them look the part. Uh, Pedro Poro, different class as well. Obviously, there is the Spurs, uh, Spurs away kit. I was going to give him the white, but I thought it might be too clashy. But then when we realized that Inter Miami's kit is rather pink, it probably would have been fine. Uh, there is Basuma. Pepe, Pepe Sar in the middle. Of course, James Madison has his hair move. It's not really moving a lot because he's not moving. Um, I don't know. Is it moving? Not really. So, yeah, it seems like some are getting done better than others. And then we've got uh, Wilson. Who's that? Odebert? I didn't pick this team. Tottenham just had them. Others, I would have put what's her name in. Um, Solanke. Obviously, you've got Sun. Can't see him. Where are you, Sun? There you are, Sun. And, uh, I mean, he's even got that little thing on his eye. What's that? Is that a birthmark? Or is that just an accident? But, yeah, son looking like the son he once was. Very nicely done. And then, finally, Kulu Kulu. Kulusevsky. Very nice eyes. Nice and blue. And, yeah, he looks the part. And, uh, yeah. You can see also the kits moving and all the fabric and the cloth and the uh, cloth simulation. So, there we have it. All right, back to the action. All righty, so let's just uh, let's play a match here. Let's see how Tottenham do. Just kind of see how the AI play out. Um, and yeah, so so basically, look, the crowd does need a massive, massive overhaul as well. But one thing that they just haven't done at all um, is the audio. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but the crowd in this game, I can't hear them half the time. They are terrible. And I don't get why Konami can't add chance. I mean, a chance really a, a legal thing? Surely people shouting chants cannot legally be, like, you know, specific to that team. Just have a bunch of people at Konami start shouting stuff about Tottenham and put it in the game. No one's going to care. It will be far better than what we have now, which is pretty much just an, a no-nonsense crowd that does nothing. Um, so, yeah. Here is Messi. He's obviously now Messi. When it comes to him and his dribbling, I mean, you might as well forget it. You might as well forget it. You're not getting a ball off him. There he is. He's away again. But yeah, just go one way, then the other. Look, they can't touch him. Maybe they can. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have some fun with the likes of the Messies. That's a great challenge. It's not. Apparently, shoulder barging as well is a little bit OP now online. And this is where Konami are going to have to find a balance. You know, you, you mean, they haven't put this update out, right? So they don't know how people are going to play online when you've added all this to the mix. I'll let them score a goal because I'm nice. Uh, we're playing on Superstar. Honestly, I played on Legend on stream, and it was easier than Superstar. But I don't know if that was just because I was playing in Liverpool, who are very attacking, and they leave a lot more space. But, um, yeah, they've got to work on the crowd. They've got to work on the audio. It's really, really bad. And this is where FIFA will always excel, right? The atmosphere in, in those games is just a real representation of football. And no one, look, no one cares about the crowd and that right now, but I'm talking about Master League. Like if you're going to add Master League to the game, you've got you've to have the bells and whistles, Konami. We want the authenticity. Or at least I do, and I know a lot of people do as well. All right, anyway, let's play a couple of minutes here. Let me know your thoughts, as I said, on the gameplay as a whole. Are you enjoying this update? Are you not? What do you like? What do you not like? What are you playing on? Are you on? That is a shocking pass. <laughs> are you on console? Are you playing on PC? I, I do still feel like they should tone down the pass assist 
and, and just and just have literally just assisted, semi-assisted, and manual. Just make it three. You don't need four of them. Right now we have pass assist four. We've got pass assist um Yeah. Four, three, two, one, right? Or is it three, two, one, zero? I don't know. It's one or the other. But there's far too many of them. And if you're playing on pass assist one, by the way, which is the most assisted, don't complain that you're getting balls intercepted a lot. Because the game is basically telling you where to pass the ball. You turn off the assists, you can put the ball, you know, in a better place away from the AI like that. Um, and it opens the game up a lot more. I, I mean, I've said many times that if this game was a full manual game, it would probably be quite fun online. Um, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't cater to the crowd that Konami wants. So, you know, I get it. But there's no reason you can't put in manual events, Konami. This is where this game obviously severely lacks. Which is... The content, still no content to play, which, you know, why would you... Um, look at that. Oh, that was a nice little overlap. You know, you have all the bells and whistles. You can have everything. But if there's no content, you might as well forget it. And that's where we are with this game right now. There's just not enough to do. Um, there you go, son. Just want to see what AI do when you give them the ball. Not really, but... I <laughs> just keep giving them the ball because I'm useless. Get it out! All right, let's play proper for a little bit here uh, while we play this match. Um, as I mentioned, the mod will be in the description. I'm going to give a penalty there. Uh, the mod will be in the description if you want to check this out and have, you know, the proper logos, badges, etc. But you can tell Inter Miami is definitely a slower team than the bigger teams. So they're not going to have the same stats, of course as the big-time players like Real Madrid. But then, you know, you've got Busquets, so he's going to have those long, long giraffe legs uh, to be able to intercept. Go on, Messi. Get back, son. And there you go. There's the, there's the auto, auto shielding mechanics telling you, look, Jordi Alba is stronger than your grandma. All right, switch is on. All right, let's see what we can do here. Little Messi. Have a little bit of a run with him. Go on, son. Cuts back. Right, we're going for it. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to fake it, but fair enough to Tottenham. They did the business. And there's the heavy touch from Kulisevsky. I like to see that. And I do want to... And this is the thing, folks. I do want to see the AI mess up. Of course you do. Because like, I do it all the time. You know, you don't want the AI playing 100% perfect passes. When does any team play that? They don't. A little bit of randomness, there's nothing wrong with it. Even if the AI does something ridiculously stupid from time to time. Oh, well, things happen. But, uh, yeah, Tottenham have played relatively well. I've played extremely bad. But it's an improvement. I will admit it is an improvement. Even, like, the responsiveness of the players themselves. The player switching seems to be a little bit better. Um... And yeah, but I'm not playing online. So, you know, don't hold me for that. You guys who are playing online, you let me know if it's any better, if it's worse. Are people abusing certain mechanics of the game? Which they will. They will. People find a way to do what they do. And who is the best face that you've seen? Let me know. Personally, I mean, May News looks really good. And then the ones we saw, Doku. I mean, <laughs> De Bruyne makes me laugh. Um, and it's a good bit of fun. But anyway, we're going to end it there. We're not going to make this long, long, long. I just wanted to show you what possibly a more modded eFootball could look like uh, when you've got proper kits, proper badges. And um, yeah, that's basically what's going to happen when we get some sort of edit mode, which we're waiting for. But let me know your thoughts below. We'll be back. I've got another video coming about another game that's on the horizon. It's more of like a football tycoon type game, if you've heard of it. And, uh, yeah, I want to put a video about it because it's quite interesting. And then FC25 will stream it this week. We'll play it. We're going to try out the realistic sliders. And then we'll be back with Football Life. And I'll probably start recording that uh, next weekend. So, yeah, look forward to some content coming. But until next time, subscribe for more. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.